Hey everybody, Brando here. Listen, I'm doing a little research on Black Lightning. Of course, Black Lightning, if you haven't heard, is going to be a new CW show. It's going to be pretty spectacular. I've seen some of the previews. They look awesome. Well, listen, if you don't know who Black Lightning is, where he came from, where his origin is from, I'm going to tell you. Listen, Black Lightning, he was the first black superhero in the DC Comics universe. I mean, published by DC Comics. The character was created in the late 70s by writer Tony Isabella. And he was uh, drawn by this guy, this cool guy named Trevor Von Eden. Black Lightning's first appearance, of course, was in his own comic book. That was entitled Black Lightning No. 1, and that premiered in uh, April of 1977. It's like 40-plus years ago. You know, he was born with superhuman abilities, and he uses electrical manipulation and generation as his superpower. His real name in the fictional sense of the word, of course, his alter ego, his real ego, a man by the name of Jefferson Pierce. Jefferson Pierce grew up in a section of Metropolis known as Suicide Slum. After Black Lightning was created, it was canceled just 11 issues into the series. So the character then bounced around from title to title, basically appearing in the back pages of various other comic books like, you know, World's Finest, The Brave and the Bold, and Detective Comics. With a new writer and artist, Black Lightning tried to remain relevant to a teenage audience. Veteran DC mastermind Denny O'Neill was brought in. He tried reshaping the character sort of as an urban hero by taking on social issues like alcoholism and domestic abuse. You know, O'Neill basically used the popularity and appeal of established DC characters like Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, and Green Arrow to showcase Black Lightning's abilities and social conscience. Sort of like how the professional wrestlers, you know, the WWE, how they put over, that's a term, putting over a new character. They take it up, a very popular, established character in the, in the wrestling community. They pit him against this newbie, you know, and then, of course, the newbie, through the powers of being put over, you know, beats this other guy or basically something from the popular character rubs off and ingratiates the new character into the eyes of those that follow the established character. And it's basically called putting somebody over. So that's what Denny O'Neill did. He used you know, Black Lightning in a, in a host of ways, showing him, like, basically changing into Superman's suit. You know, they bust in in one scene, uh, I think it's ep- episode World's Finest 260, busts into the Superman Museum in Mer- Metropolis, and he literally puts on Clark Kent's suit. I mean, uh, it's right here. Check it out. So these are the things that, you know, again, this writer tried doing to basically keep this character alive. Again, I haven't read a comic book in, gosh, 30, maybe 30 years. I think I'm going to dig out my old Black Lightning collection. I've got them in Batman and the Outsiders, The Adventures of the Outsiders. I've got them in World's Finest. I've got a couple Brave and Bold's. I'm gonna compile my own. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little research. I'm gonna I'm gonna in advance of the TV show that's premiering on the CW very soon. I'm gonna educate myself, reacquaint myself with a little Black Lightning. I think he's a great role model. I think he's gonna be a, a it's gonna be a great TV show, and I really 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 think this character is gonna rise in popularity. Of course, I hope so. Also, I've got some of his the comics on eBay of Ken ebay uh my username of course there is fall hill f-a-l-l-h-i-l-l if you want to click on over there give me a search i've got a couple black lightning comic books up for sale if you want to buy your own and do your own reading again uh this is brando this is my youtube channel you know again i hate to even pander to you but if you want to click if you're still watching click share subscribe all that stuff all those youtubers like to tell you to do I don't really care what you do. This is a free country. This is America. America. we got superheroes. And we've got YouTube. Enjoy.